Hey, darling, it may have been a surprise to a lot of people to hear that mask mandate drop, but we did reach out to our state health secretary and asked him why now. He says one of the main reasons is because there's not as many people hospitalized. For weeks, the governor and top health experts have talked about removing mask mandates. I know myself, I know the governor, <clears throat> we all really want to uh, stop the mask mandate, but masks are effective. The state is still in hot water and we don't really want to do that till we feel that everyone will be safe. The public health order was set to expire on March 4th. Instead, in a surprise announcement by the governor after the legislative session came to a close, she abruptly said the mass mandate is over. Shortly after, KOAT called the Department of Health spokesperson who was unaware of the news. 15 minutes later, they confirmed the announcement. We asked Dr. Grace why the sudden decision. We've seen about a 35 to 37 percent drop in hospitalizations. In the Department of Health epidemiology reports, there is a downward trend. During the week of January 31st, there were 430 new hospitalizations. The following week, that dropped to 370. And last week, we saw 249 new hospitalizations. I think we're just going more to uh, individual responsibility and the, our broader provider community role in this. And less the state being responsible for everything. KOAT's political expert says the governor's decision was out of the ordinary. We are one of the last states to lift the mandate, and I, I think it would have raised eyebrows if we had become the very last state. Scray says they are predicting hospitalizations to go down even more over the next 10 days. Now, the declaration crisis standards of care is set to expire on March 11th.